developing outside the White House here just in the last half hour. A street on the north side uh, of the White House has reopened, but police shut it down entirely after this man attempted to fly this drone. Here's the photo of it. We're seeing this for the first time. This thing tried to fly this over the fence of the White House. You don't want to try to do that. Pamela Brown, CNN Justice Correspondent. Tell me, um, what exactly is this thing and what was this man trying to do? Well, first of all, Brooke, you're not allowed to fly drones in D.C., let alone around the White House. That is a no. restricted airspace. Uh, what we can tell you here, though, and we see a picture of, of this uh, drone, the small UAV that was used in this case. The Secret Service just releasing this statement, Brooke, uh, basically saying that, that Secret Service uniform division officers uh, saw this man flying the UAV. It says uh, below 100 feet in altitude. An individual then goes on to say was detained by Secret Service and instructed to land the small UAV. The statement says that he did comply, Brooke, and that the small UAV was recovered in Lafayette Park. Of course, that UAV was swept by Secret Service and then subsequently declared safe by the Metropolitan Police Department. And we now know that that individual was turned over to the custody of the U.S. Park Police.